Yo, what's good, boys? Thank you for clicking on the video. Listen, in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys my favorite high ground retakes. I've been using these retakes for a long time, and I've mostly come up with these retakes by myself. And with a little bit of practice, they're not super hard to learn. So I'm going to break them down step by step to make it as easy as possible for you guys to learn. But if you do find this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button. Also, go ahead and hit subscribe as well. I would really appreciate it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's hop right on into the video. Alrighty boys, so before we get to the first retake, I did want to let you know these retakes are going from easiest to hardest. So the easier ones are going to be in the beginning and the more difficult ones are going to be at the end. But I would really appreciate if you watch the full video through because you still might learn something new. Alrighty fellas, to start this retake off, we are going to place a cone and two walls just like this to have a protective side jump. We're going to jump, we're going to land on a flat, we're not going to land on a stair like this. We're actually going to place two walls while we're jumping, then we're going to place the floor and then the ramp. So it protects us from above, just like that. And then from here, we're going to continue this momentum forward and we're going to place a floor and a stair. And then we're gonna do a thwaifo cone just like this. In one motion, it looks just like this. You just look back, you place two walls and a cone right above. It's really easy, pretty simple to get down once you learn it. Then we're gonna place a stair right on these two walls after we look back. And then we're gonna do another protected side jump just like this, and we're gonna do a high wall. And once we do our high walls and we land, we're gonna do two stairs just like this. And then we're gonna do a side step to the left. So we're gonna start from looking down here. We're gonna place a wall up, up, and then a stair down, down. So it kind of looks like this, right? So that's what it looks like in one motion and you have to make sure you're doing it at the right angle Just like that But once you do that you're gonna come through and you're gonna edit through and you can either piece your opponent here Or you can keep going but all together that should look something like this in one motion just like here Boom, there you go. Just like that Alrighty boys, so that is retake number two. We're gonna start it off with a double edit just like this. And you're gonna wanna place this wall. This wall right here is super important. So make sure you place it. Then we're gonna take a cone. We're gonna look above. This cone needs to place there and this one here as well. And then all in one motion, we're gonna place four walls. And we're gonna kinda do a swoop just like this. We're gonna go just like that with our crosshair while placing walls, kinda something like that. And then we're gonna edit through the cone and the wall while keeping momentum. And if you place the floor here, that's fine. Just edit through, place the protective side jump, just like this, we're gonna do protective side jump. Make sure you place the wall. And then we're gonna look up, and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did in the first retake. So if you place this floor, that's okay as well. We're gonna do a side step, and we're gonna come here, and we're gonna try to piece our opponent here, or we can just keep going for height, whichever way you want. And I like this retake a lot, because you can diversify this one pretty much whichever way that you want to. So it's really good to learn this one. boys so now we're on to my absolute favorite retake i love this retake so much i can literally fool anybody with this retake it's actually sick so i'm gonna show you guys how to do it so we're gonna start off by from wherever we're at we pretty much just need a floor or a ramp below and above us just like this um this is just one way one really protective way of doing that um pretty much just this motion here if you don't know how to do it it's pretty easy um it's pretty easy to practice as well so yeah we're just gonna start off with one of these and we're gonna place uh, a stair up here and then two stairs down below and then we're gonna place a cone here and then place four walls in one motion just like this we're gonna flick to the left all up and down so then we're gonna edit this tile of this cone and if you want you can also edit this and place a ramp but it's uh, it's kind of hard to so for now we're just gonna do just the cone and then from here we're gonna be holding our walls out just like this and we're gonna look in a 180 but we're also gonna keep momentum so pretty much you're gonna wanna come up to the ramp sort of like this. It's almost like a little circle because you have to keep your momentum, right? So if you're if you're going on the ramp, something like this, you'll be able to pull this off because if you just hit the edit and then turn around just like this and then go for it, you'll miss. So pretty much keeping one fluid motion, we're gonna edit this tile, which is gonna make this a Dorito cone. And then we're gonna edit this part of the wall and then land on a stair uh staring a cone now you can land on a stair floor cone wall uh just to make it more protective um but then we're either gonna do this we're gonna do a side step 
or we're going to do a side jump. Now, I usually go for the side jump well, with this wall here, don't forget. Um, you can do the side jump here if you want, because then if you do a side jump, you can do a couple 90s, maybe you can do a Thwaifo, whatever you wanna do. Um, but from there, you pretty much just wanna get height. So you can keep cranking, you can go for one of these. So wherever your opponent's at, you're pretty much just gonna wanna capitalize on wherever they go. So you can kind of tell the direction on where they're going. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how you do that one. So this retake is for whenever you're boxed up and this retake to be able to do it You actually have to have a cone inside of your box because if you don't you won't be able to get out So make sure you have a cone in your box and also if you have a floor either break it or edit it I usually edit mine, but yeah, and you could still hop out, but I'm gonna show you guys a sick move so So if we have this just like this we can uh, We can take this cone and then hop right on out while placing a wall So we don't get blocked off and then from here We're gonna place a cone and we're gonna do a side jump and then from this position, we're gonna edit this cone just like this, and we're gonna place a wall, and then two walls to our right, just like that. And then from this position, you wanna hit your edit button, and we're gonna go through the wall and the cone just like this, so we're gonna edit those two, and then the wall. And then another side jump, and you can either go whichever direction. Um, and the reason why I always do a side step and I don't come right through here is because most likely your opponent's gonna be waiting for it. So I always recommend a sidestep or you could change your direction and just keep going a different way. But yeah, boys, that is the retake and let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, boys, and for this retake, it's pretty hard to do, but once you learn it, I swear it is super nasty. So we're gonna start off by playing a, placing a cone, two walls just like this. We're gonna do a sidestep. So remember, we're gonna start from the bottom we're gonna move up just like this and make sure whenever you're placing this this wall whenever you're doing a side step you don't look anywhere inside of here so your crosshair placement has to be outside of this area and not within any of this cone right here so we're gonna go up up down down just like this we're gonna edit this wall and we're gonna come through and then right here getting four walls off just like this is really hard if you're on a low sensitivity so you have to have really good crosshair placement for it to be able to hit these four walls uh correctly so it does take some practice so then we're gonna edit through this cone just like this. And then from here, we're going through the wall. And then right after, we're gonna place two cones. And when we're placing these two cones, after that, we're gonna do four walls again. And we're gonna edit this tile or both tiles, whatever you wanna do. This, just editing one tile is more protective in case your enemy does somehow end up over on that side. Then we're gonna edit this wall and land on a floor stair cone, just like that. And then from here, we're gonna do this motion here without placing this wall. And we're gonna do a side jump and it's gonna be a spin around side jump now i do like to usually try to get this wall here as well um it is kind of hard to do if you're on a low sense but you try to hit all four and then you can obviously do another side step yes i just fell don't roast me you can do another side step and look for peace control wherever you're at or keep going for height or look for a shot either or but yo learning this retake will help you out a lot especially when it comes to your crosshair placements stuff like that um, and where to place your cones and all that. So all that good movement stuff, I promise you, this is the retake to learn um, if you wanna practice and diversify your high ground retakes. But yo boys, if you made it this far into the video, comment down in the comment section and tell me if this was too difficult for you. I wanna know if you guys want some easier ones because I am totally down to make some videos on some easier retakes for you guys. So, so definitely be sure to let me know down in the comments to actually see who the real ones are and who actually watches my full videos. Go in the comments and also comment, use code TAKEOFF just like this. I want to see who makes it to the very end. I really appreciate the ones who watch the full video. If you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy the one in the top right corner. So go ahead and click it and I'll see you in there. Much love, boys. Peace out.